Hey, this is Scott of PhotographyBonsai.com. Today I want to talk about Adobe Photoshop with Bridge and how it relates to color space, color space issues, especially from first install with the defaults as they are. Tends to use the Adobe RGB color space, which is not the best for most situations. You want to use sRGB. In the past, I had left defaults and eventually put some photos on my gallery that were in the Adobe RGB format and they generally will look dull in browsers and not how you intend your photos to look. So I'll just show you some of the settings that you want to change before you start editing with Photoshop so you make sure that sRGB is there in every place. First off, W Bridge, I like this program use it for most of my actual editing of the raw files. Inside here the edit menu and then preferences just have some simple options. What I check here is where it says behavior and double click edits with cam uh, camera raw settings in bridge. So when you double click a raw file it'll pop up with camera raw instead of opening Photoshop. That's just an easy way for uh, to do editing with Bridge itself. Here's another one that I check for the output area in preferences. It says preserve embedded color profile. So when you take a photo with your camera it should have some type of color profile and you can set that in the camera. For example mine have the Adobe RGB 1998 and then the sRGB. So I have it set as sRGB in the camera too. I just want that data to be passed. It, uh, we'll see in Photoshop it has some options that relate to that uh, color space in there. So what I do as well is I open up one of the raw files. The settings here will be different from your first time using Bridge. On the bottom here, see it says sRGB and then it has a some type of string 16-bit with the actual size of the photo and then the points per inch, I assume that means. So you click on that. It will probably be on Adobe RGB, so you want to switch this space here to the sRGB. And what I also do is I go to 16 bits. It'll probably be defaulted to 8 bits. So you just want to switch those two, and this should stay that way as long as you use the program, unless you change it for some reason. So now it's set to sRGB. When I actually open that file in Photoshop or I do a batch process, it'll use that color space. So in Photoshop itself, I'm going to minimize this go into the edit menu, preferences, let's see, you can also change camera preferences in here, there isn't anything really related to color space. So in the edit menu, here it is, color settings, you want to, this will probably be set to the Adobe RGB again, but you want to select the sRGB. So you force that color profile, make sure that it stays that way. So that should be good for that. The one benefit with Adobe RGB is that when you're actually doing physical printing, you have a better chance of making sure the colors are proper depending on your printer. Some printers won't, will work better with sRGB, some will work better with uh, Adobe RGB. Uh, probably more specifically the inkjets will work better with uh, Adobe, but I suggest using sRGB. It's easier, it works better with the internet, you know, uploading to your gallery, looking at photos in the browser, looking at photos on the computer. So that's about it. Thanks.